Geek.com claims that we have only discovered around 14% of the world's species so far, and considering there are so many more amazing animals and plants to discover, there's no doubt that some of them are going to be absolutely weird looking. Most Bizarre and Rare Animals on Earth Number 24. A face only a mother could love. The Saiga antelope are clearly very different looking to any other antelope you've ever seen before, and that's because they have this really weird looking nose. It's massive and looks like it's melting off of the poor antelope's face. These antelopes are endangered, and the few that you will still come across are in Eurasia. The purpose of their unusual snozzles are to filter out the dust they encounter during summer migrations, and during the winter, it heats the cold air before they inhale it. Number 23. One of a kind. This is a Patagonian Mara, and depending on how you perceived it, either it could be a small version of an antelope or a very large version of a rodent. If you were leaning towards rodent, you would be right. This herbivorous rabbit-like animal is found in parts of Argentina, and as the name suggests, you will find them more in Patagonia. They are a near-threatened species, and their skins are known to be used for bedspreads and rugs. Number 22 beauty is skin deep. Alligators are of course pretty common, but albino ones, not so much. This rare beauty is found at Gatorland in Florida, a theme park that rescues alligators and her name is Pearl. She's seven and a half feet long and weighs 105 pounds. She's definitely a draw card to this interesting theme park. Number 21, letting it all hang out. This bare-hearted glass frog is every bit as strange as the name of the frog, and although there are plenty glass frogs out there, this particular one was the first discovery since 1973. From the top, the little frog is bright green, but it's from the bottom that the magic occurs. It's completely translucent. You're in for a brilliant view of the frog's internal organs. Don't think they're easy to spot, though. They're less than an inch long. Number 20 all the better to smell you with, my dear. The Chinese goose is most certainly not the most attractive goose out there, but what they lack in looks, they certainly make up for in reproductive skills. A female can lay up to 60 eggs at a time. These geese are incredible. Domesticated breeds are great foragers, independent, and self-sufficient. We almost feel like we need to go out and buy one, like right now, but we can think the bizarre knobbly facial features probably gonna put us off. Number 19. Not my best side. There are 34 different species of the family of Tenrecidae, and the Tenrec is an ultra cute species within that family. You'll find these quirky characters in Madagascar and throughout parts of Africa. They're often mistaken for rodents and, believe it or not, otters. They can live in and around water, deserts, forests, grasslands, and lowlands, and their closest relatives are aardvarks, golden miles, and elephant shrews. They eat loads of insects and are exceptionally adaptable, as seen by the large areas they're able to survive in. Number 18, sink your teeth into this. An animal that Dracula can definitely identify with. This is the vampire deer, also known as the Chinese water deer. You'll also find these fangs on the musk deer. Don't fret, they're not roaming the streets at night waiting to pounce on their next victim. But just like antlers on other deer, these fangs are used as weapons. Surprisingly, they're considered a pest in Great Britain. Number 17, love yourself. This is definitely one of the more glamorous sea slugs you'll come across, called Glaucus atlanticus. You'll find them in South Africa, Europe, Australia, and Mozambique. They're often called the blue dragons of the sea, and color is everything for this little critter. The top is blue, so when they float to the surface, they blend in with the water, and they're silver underneath, so they blend in with the reflection of the water underneath the surface. Number 16. Big girl, you are beautiful. Cantor's giant soft-shelled turtles are truly bizarre to look at, like they've been left out baking in the sun and melted. This freshwater species lives in Asia, and they can grow up to six feet in length. Sadly, the last sighting of this incredible creature was in 2003 in Cambodia. They spend 90% of their lives just laying still, servicing twice a day to get a breath. Due to this habit, they're easily caught by poachers, which have contributed to their dwindling numbers. Number 15, all legs. Many have described the Gobi jerboa as a hybrid of mouse and a kangaroo, and you have to admit, it's a little weird looking. This little rodent is from China and Mongolia, and there are quite a few different species of them. The long-eared jerboa is also quite unusual in that its ears alone can grow three times bigger than a mighty mouse. Number 14, snug as a bug. We're not one for caterpillars at the best of times, but this saddleback caterpillar might make us change our minds, and only because it's so unusual looking. But like many caterpillars, they can be quite dangerous, and the spines on this caterpillar are extremely venomous. And just like most caterpillars, he'll grow up to be a pretty regular moth. Number 13, it's alive. 
This living rock is called a Pyura chilensis, and from the outside they look exactly like rocks, but cut them open and you'll be faced with their organs. You find them in Chile and Brazil, and locals actually eat them either raw or cooked. If you've ever eaten one, do let us know about it in the comments a little later. Number 12. Big hair, don't care. Commodores are by far the most eccentric dog you'll ever come across, with their crazy locks that look exactly like dreadlocks. Strangely, they don't actually shed a lot of hair. Thank goodness, right? And these pups are said to be the most loyal companions, so they really tick all the right boxes for the perfect family pet. Number 11. Cute and cuddly. These animals seem to be a combination of every cute animal you can think of blended together to bring you what they call a stout. They're a type of weasel found in Eurasia and North America and are larger than regular weasels with a larger tail that has a very distinctive black tip. Number 10. A little confused. This is one of the coolest collaborations in the animal kingdom and it's the fusion of a moth and a hummingbird. This hummingbird hawk moth is breathtaking to watch and they beat their wings so quickly they make a humming noise, which you can hear. They're plentiful in Britain in the summer and tend to return to the same flowers, showing they have an incredible memory too. They feed exactly like a hummingbird does and love honeysuckle. Number nine, long neck. That's actually the nickname that's been given to giraffes, but you can also call this smooth long neck turtle long neck for, you know, obvious reasons. Even more weird than this animal's long neck is the fact that it can retract it back into its shell. If they find themselves in a threatening situation, they release a terrible smelling liquid, which makes their predator exit pretty quickly. Number eight, night night, sleep tight. This blanket octopus is exceptionally stylish and in between the arms of the octopus is stretched out patterned skin that looks like a blanket. When threatened, they can make themselves appear much larger than they really are. And if they still get attacked, they drop that blanket to make a hasty retreat. The females can grow 6.6 .6 feet, and when the male is interested in the female, he takes one of his arms, fills it with sperm, sticks it to the female, and then breaks it off of his own body. It's basically up to her if she wants to use the gift or not. Who said romance is dead? Number seven, just be yourself. Short-beaked echidnas are quirky little creatures that look a lot like porcupines or hedgehogs, but they're actually spiny anteaters. What makes them really interesting is that they are monotremes, which are mammals that lay eggs. They're generally found in Australia and southern New Guinea and feed off thousands of ants every day. Number six, why did the chicken cross the road? Hopefully to try and find its neck feathers. This is the naked neck chicken and they're usually found in Europe. Wouldn't you love to know why they're bred this way? If you know, let us know. Number five, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a scorpion fly. And as the name suggests, this fly resembles a scorpion. People often mistake these flies for crane flies or giant mozzies, which is kind of crazy considering they have a huge sting on their abdomen. They can beat their wings 28 times per second and fly around half a meter in just one second. And here's the best part. The stinger is just for show. Number four, jump to it. We're only including this one because it's just too cute not to share. This tiny little frog is a desert rain frog and it's thanks to its minuscule size that he remains safe. They're so small that predators struggle to spot them. So there's a large number of these little guys out in the wild. Number three, too cool for school. The Atalopus frog, AKA Harlequin frog is not as lucky as our previous entries. The colors on this very rare frog are its biggest downfall. In fact, it's been years since one was spotted and it's thought they could very well be extinct. Number two, a little red faced. This is the bald Uakari and this creepy looking monkey can be spotted in the Amazon River Basin. They're exceptionally vulnerable at this stage due to habitat loss and hunting. Unlike regular monkeys, these guys have very short tails and they use their arms and legs to move through the trees of the jungle. Females only have one baby every two years and sadly, they're also often caught for food. Number one, just a little nibble. The frilly shark should definitely have been called something different because frilly shark insinuates something pretty and sweet looking and nothing like this rare prehistoric shark. One was recently caught off the coast of Portugal and this species dates back 80 million years. The name frilly shark refers to the frilly teeth inside the mouth and you can find them in the very depths of the waters close to Japan, Australia, and New Zealand. 
Have you guys ever seen any of these bizarre and rare animals? If so, share your experience with us in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos just like this. Thanks for watching.